Okay, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from Jake Tech and today I'm going to show you how to install and play a game from the disc without actually having the disc on required to play it. So the requirements to do this are you're going to need a disc drive to put the disc in, you're going to need the disc obviously, and you're going to need a program called Magic ISO. This could be downloaded by going to Google, typing in Magic, oh, if I can spell correctly, Magic ISO only one word, first link, and you can download it from here, right here. So you're going to want to download and install that. Once you've done that, you're going to see you're going to have a, a small Magic ISO Virtual CD slash DVD manager system icon, pardon me, down here. So what you want to, going to want to do, right click on it, uh, click on the set number of drives, make sure it's on one, you can have it on any actually but by default it should be on one. It depends how many uh, games you can do this with. You can do this with up to four, uh, one drive for each game. So yes, make sure it's on one or above. And you're gonna see, it's gonna say virtual CD slash DVD ROM writer and all these things. But you're gonna wanna click on make CD slash DVD image. So make sure your disc is inside, the game disc is inside, and you're going to want to click on your CD slash DVD writer. They usually have really weird names, but uh, if you don't know which one it is, you can go on computer, uh, see which one says DVD RW drive. Notice the letter is the same here. So yeah. The other one, which is E, you can see is the uh, one drive the one virtual drive Magic ISO is created, that's why it's called DVD drive instead of DVD RW drive. So yes, you're going to select your physical, real life DVD drive, going to go on output file, and I suggest for this that you go to where you want your uh, game to be installed, I'm using Morrowind for this, you're going to make a folder called whatever the game is, and then you're going to have two folders inside that, disk files and install. Install will be empty, this is where your install directory for your game is. This is what I recommend, you can do it any way you like. Uh, then go in disk files, and then here you're going to, I've already got one there called morrowind.uif, and you're going to call it whatever you want, and click save. And make sure the output format is universal image format, or .uif. You don't need to uh, make a password for it, basically what this means is whenever you mount and open this uh, this uh, image, you'll have to enter a password. No real reason to do that. Make sure make CD images tick, not export boot image, and click OK. Now as I said, I already had one, so I don't need to click this, and it is quite a long process. Now Morrowind is actually quite a small game, so it only took me about 20 minutes, but it can take anywhere between 20 and an hour. Uh, so make sure you have enough time set out for that. As I said, I already have one, so I don't need to do it. Next, you're going to want to go back over to your, uh, the system tray icon, uh, go to virtual CD slash DVD ROM drive and hover over it to open that menu, hover over this to open that menu, and click mount. And you want to go to the directory where you saved your .uif, highlight it, click open, and it's going to verify a UIF image, and you're going to get an autoplay sign, uh, same thing as you would, it would happen if you had the disk in. Now, at the point that you have made your UIF image, you can take out your disk. For this entire video I have not had my disk in my computer because I already had the disk image made. So now you just install the game as you normally would. Yes. Next. Installing to the uh, semi uh, next. And it's going to install. I'm going to cut this uh, installation process out because you don't want to watch a loading world travel across the screen. Even though it's not going to take that long but you're not going to want to see it. So there we go, my installation is finished. Uh, and you can see the Mario and icon there. Again, I do not have the disk inside of my computer. And we can just open this. Just going to make sure it's in windowed mode so it doesn't crash on my computer because I'm recording the screen. And there we go. We can see Morrowind is right here opening uh, without the disk in. So, what are the, uh, the pros of doing this. Uh, 
Well, one of the main things about having a computer is you play most of your games without a disc, thanks to things like Steam and Origin, uh, goodoldgames.com, stuff like that. And this allows you to do it with any of the older games or cheap pre-owned games you can get from retail stores. This is great because often you get, get you can get pre-owned PC games for incredibly cheap from retail stores. I went to a game yesterday and they had an offer where you could get three PC games for fifteen pounds, which was really good. So uh, it's a great way that you can uh, reduce on clutter because you're going to have bunch of boxes for discs around if you couldn't do this and now you can just download all these um, well get rid of your, your discs which is great uh, it leaves out many many possibilities uh, and, and frankly it doesn't really cost you anything uh, it might cost you a bit of disc space but I mean ISOs aren't that big in fact I, let me just I'll just close the uh, Morrowind now and I'll show you how big the file is because it's really not that large. Uh, there it is. See, it's about it's half a gig. So if you've got an, a four gig memory stick, which are incredibly cheap, you can store n nearly nearly eight of these. Let's say six or seven. That's six or seven games on a four gig USB stick. That's quite good. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for the video. If you want to see videos like this more, like, uh, like I mean, desktop tutorials like this, like if you want to know how I got this, how I got uh, my Windows uh, to do animations, like when I open things like that and like that and like that, then comment. Other than that, if you like the video, leave a like. If you want to watch more of these videos, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.